So let's talk about lures real fast. So when you're when you're fishing a flooded marsh and uh, you have all odds against you, you got to use lures that are really going to be attract be attraction to the fish. But what I mean is, make sure you have lures that rattle, that shine, that sparkle, lures that smell like, for example, gulp. So today we're going to start off with the Roadrunner, a crappie jig. This is a 1 8 ounce version. It has a spinner on the bottom, so it gives that an extra flash. And I'm going to pair it up with gulp. This is the gulp that I'm going to be using today. This is the gulp bait fish smelt version. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon. The link is in the description below, Amazon affiliate. You can also pick this up at Walmart, Academy, pretty much anywhere that sells tackle. But I'm going to be using this along with my Roadrunner to give me the best chance of catching a fish. Pretty much I'm bringing out the big guns, man, because like I said, when you fish a flooded marsh like this, when you have selenium levels that's all off, fresh water that's invaded your brackish water, it's going to be really, really tough, man. So here we go. Guys, I've made a video on how to kayak fish for beginners, some tips and tricks on um, what I like to do when I fish a marsh. You know, it kind of the same techniques apply even though we have a flooded marsh with harder conditions, you know, you're still going to be looking for bait fish. You're still going to be looking for structure. You're still going to be looking for some water current, although in a flooded marsh, uh, that might be a little bit hard. And how to use this little rig that I have hooked on today with a gulp. I'm just casting it, letting it hit the ground because it's about two feet and just pop, reel, pop, reel in, pop, reel in. And that's, that's pretty much it. You want to make sure it does hit the ground. Um, so you're able to tag flounder that they're sitting in that area that you're casting. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Got something on. Oh, I had something on. Oh, no, he's still on. He's running. He's running. A nice little trout. Look at that. On the gold. That's surprising. I thought these guys were going to be way out in the bay, but uh, nice, man. I'll take him. There you go. Check out this little dude. He's probably about 12 inches. Later, dude. So I was fishing this drain here. This is water movement as I was speaking of. Your marsh is your structure. I caught him right at that corner there. He's just kind of sitting there, and uh, he hit this little gulp um, roadrunner rig, and I'm going to fish this a little bit longer. Perhaps maybe there's some flounder here, so... I'm gonna kind of dissect this area. So if you if you see bait movement and you catch a fish, kind of sit there a little bit and start casting around there. Yeah, perhaps you'll nail a bigger fish, who knows? There we go. Nice, got him. It's a decent size. Yeah, these are gonna be a decent size spec. Look at that. Caught him right at this channel again. Once again, water movement, structure, that's gonna be your best bet. And I think he's gonna be right at 15 inches. That's going to be, I'm thinking probably around 15 and a half, close to 16 inches. First keeper, we're going to let go. Good luck. There we go. Nice. Look at this crab. Dang it, look at that, that's a big crab, man. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, everything eats gulp, man, seriously. Oh, there we go, nice. Oh, he had it on. That felt like a little flounder. Huh. So what are we doing here, guys, is I'm working this, this opening into this little marsh drain. I believe this may be the bay, I'm not sure yet. I gotta look at my Google Maps, but um, this is a great place, a great place to have structure and water current. To kind of just sit and wait for bait or wait for fish yeah bait there we go nice oh dude that was a flounder gosh man i had a man right at that cove right there it dropped from one feet to two feet see maybe we get lucky maybe there's another flounder there there we go nice got him got him oh he's a nice little puller nice what is this man that's a big croaker dude <laughs> Good lord, that's one of the biggest croakers I've ever caught, dude. Look at that. This dude's about 12 inches, man. <laughs> Give me my lure back, bro. There we 
we go. Nice. Oh, he's a puller. He's a little puller. Got him. Whatever this is. Might be a smaller red. I knew there's got to be some fish in here, man. Oh, but you know what? I will take him. Today's a grind. Too much water, fresh water in this marsh. And that, boys and girls, is how you fish it, man. A stinky or shiny or rattly freaking bait. And that's how you get him, man. Look at that. Nice red fish. He's probably about eh, 16, 17 inches. But thanks, bro. I appreciate it. See ya. So as you see, guys, man, when you fish a flooded marsh, it's, it's a grind. It's tough. Use something. Use a lure like I'm using today that's smelly, that has an attractant to it, like a rattler or a spinner, whatever, uh, that'll help you get that more advantage, I guess, per se, than just a plain old tail, um, paddle tail. But I've caught all my fish on this one little lure here today, and it's working out pretty good. And I'm going to keep on using it until I can get a nice fish on it, hopefully. There we go. Nice. Got him. Got him. It's a small little red, I believe. Locate the bait, guys, and you're going to locate the predatory fish. Now, he might not be the size that you're looking for, but yeah, there you go. There we go. Nice. What is this? Oh, he got a little pull on him. No, it's a drum. <laughs> nice. Nice drum. <laughs> Getting uglier. By the minute. Thanks, dude. Man, after a hard day of fishing, the best advice I can give to you to pick yourself up is to make yourself happy. And this is how I make myself happy. Plus, it was payday. All right, look, man, I was just trying to go in to Fishing Tackle Unlimited just to buy some hooks and some weights that's it but i end up spending a lot a lot of money man this has happened to you guys man. it always happens to me let me show you exactly what i spent my hard-earned money on i got some new leader line 10 pound yozuri fluorocarbon made in japan when i saw these i had to pick these up these are the wake bait that yozuri makes kind of like the hunchback but in a nicer looking form. Makes a lot of noise. It's a weight bait slash top bait, top water. I think it's gonna work really, really well on those redfish and trout. Next, I got some twitch bait, slow sinking. These are a little bit larger lures than I normally use, but this will be great to use in the surf or perhaps when I try to fish for the bull reds. Pretty soon, the bull red red's gonna happen. I think these are gonna do really, really well. I got the black and gold, which I always like. And I got the mullet imitation. Makes a lot of noise. All right, check these out, guys. These are these twitch bait lures, just like the bigger ones I just showed you. But these are the quarter ounce, the smaller ones. And these are going to work great in the marsh, in the uh, shallow grass grass. Oh, God. And last but not least, I got me a new reel. The new Stratic FL 1000 spinning reel. I am very, very excited to use this because this just came out for 2019, 2020, and this is going to be a great winner in my opinion. Not even open yet. I'm going to spool it up when I get home and stay tuned guys. I'm going to be using this exclusively on my spinning rod to catch those big old fish. Do you think it'll help me catch some fish? I'm, I'm betting on it.